we are committed to ensuring that the 2023 general election is transparent and credible, reflecting the will of the Nigerian people. Let me once again reassure Nigerians that there is no going back on the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS. There's no going back on the transmission of results on the INEC result viewing portal in real time on election day. Electronic transmission of results in real time. This was what the INEC chairman promised us. But none of that actually happened. So what really happened? Have we just been robbed and scammed in broad daylight? This is unbelievable. Well, so what other option is available right now? Because INEC certainly did not follow what he said it would do. So which option is available for political parties who lost this election? Like the Labour Party, basically is to go to court. So but first, did the law say that INEC must transmit results electronically? Well, I know many lawyers I've listened to, especially in television, have said that, but that's not the truth. If you read the Electoral Act, 2022, it did not specifically say that INEC must transmit results electronically. In fact, it never said that. What the Electoral Act said is that INEC is at liberty to determine how the result will be you know, transmitted or transferred. However, INEC did develop a guideline and in INEC guideline, INEC specifically stated that election results will be transmitted electronically from the polling unit to the IREF, which is the electronic, which is the result viewing result of INEC in real time. That is what the INEC guideline says. Well, you know, so there are two things here. There's a guideline and there's an act. The act have already said that INEC is at liberty to determine how the results are transmitted. INEC have developed a guideline saying that yes, we'll transmit this result electronically. All right, but remember, they had liberty to determine how it would be. So, but now INEC failed to transmit the result you know, electronically. So, what do you think is going to happen in the law court? Because the Electoral Act did not specifically say it has to be electronic, but gave INEC the powers, INEC develop a guideline and say yes we we'll use electronic but at the end of it they fail to do that in the law court can say yes they fail to do that but they still have liberty to determine how this election can be transmitted and therefore they decided to do manual because they had a force merger so what is force merger when you write a contract with somebody all right in that contract when you default in the contract you are liable to pay a penalty however there are force mergers First merger is when something happened beyond your own control. That is, let's say there is an earthquake, there is weather condition. For those of you who have actually handled some kind of contract management, you understand what first merger are. So, INEC can actually claim first merger in the court, law court and say, oh, due to technical breakdown, there was a first merger. Therefore, it was out of our control. We could not continue with the electronic transfer that we promised. So, therefore, we have to do manual because. The Electoral Act actually says that we are at liberty to determine how the result will be transmitted. <laughs> well, this is just me being objective. This is what it is. I know many lawyers have said that, oh, oh, the Electoral Act. The Electoral Act, go and read the Electoral Act for yourself. In fact, one of the respected, I don't want to call him, one of the respected young lawyers, and I heard him this morning say, Electoral Act said, INEC result must be transmitted electronically. Now, the Act didn't say that. What said that was the guideline that was developed by INEC. The act says INEC is at liberty to determine what they want to do. Again, this is why people that craft our acts or make our laws, and I know why they don't put the right and necessary clauses in the in the law that they make. Because if the clause in the act have specifically said electronic result must be transmit uh, result must be transmitted electronically, or it has specifically say result must be and only be transmitted electronically and no other way then INEC will be banned by that. But because that act has already empowered INEC to determine how the result can be transmitted, INEC have said in one way, okay, we'll do it electronically, but in a case of force merger, like what INEC is going to claim right now, then they reverted to manual. And remember, the act have empowered them to determine however it's going to be. So that is the big loophole here. That is a very big loophole in the court of law. So. 
I believe if political parties actually go to court and they say uh, this election was not credible in the first place because INEC broke its own guideline that it followed, probably the other party will argue yes, there was a force merger, that was why, but INEC is at liberty to determine how. I mean, if you listen to First Sokoye, that is already what he has, he's already saying. All right, he didn't bring up the issue of force merger, but I, I said force merger because I understand how you know the terms they use in contract management now but first of all you have already quoted the sections of the uh, i think section 50 or section 60 of the electoral act stating this that you know INEC is empowered by law to determine how the result should be transmitted even though it has created a guideline that's an electronic transmission but now he's no longer talking about the guideline he's not talking about the act you see the problem that is the big problem here and so i don't see how if we decide to go to court to sue INEC and say this election was not credible it should be cancelled because you did not follow uh your guidelines INEC can say well guideline is guideline guideline is not an act it's not a law the law said we are liberty to determine what the which other way we want to do it or how we want to do it so we said this way but it failed so we decided to do this other way other political parties like the Labour party especially can actually go to court if they can prove now that's the word if they can prove that the result that was announced is totally different from the result that having computed and put together you know they can actually use that and go to court again that brings me to the question i don't know how much work that the technical team of labor party really did because you know from even the places that i monitored the agent that they had there we have to actually support those agents you know to insist that the results be counted and be uploaded and all of that so but what i really think is that if the, every pulling uh, you know if the agent in every pulling unit that labor party had you know have sent in their results you know from the pulling units send it direct send their results to whosoever that is the word coordinator of all that that pulling unit because you know how this makes up there's a pulling unit that makes up the world and then the world makes up the local government and the local government makes up the state so at the world level at the local government level and at the state level i believe there should be a central point of co uh, coordination where all the results collected at the polling unit should be sent to the world all the results collected at the world should be sent to the local government and then like that to the state so if the Labour Party can look at all the things collected and can tabulate all the results and can truly show, okay, in legal state, based on what we've collected from the pooling unit to the world to the local government and put together, this is the total number we had in Lagos. It is not the number that is being called. We had this amount of number. And they can look through that in all the states, then they can easily tell if they won this election or not. And based on that, they can go to court and when you present that evidences of the pictures that were taken as against what the being uploaded at the portal right now then you probably will have a case but if the case is going to be INEC did not conduct this election in a credible way which i believe they did not because they promised us something but they did something else entirely now that may not really really hold up because as long as the law or the act is consigned the electronic uh, the Electoral Act 2022 is consigned. It did not specifically say electronic transmission. Rather, it gave the power of transmission of result to INEC. And INEC can claim that, oh, due to force merger, we decided to do otherwise. So if we drafted this uh, Electoral Act, you know, if they really wanted INEC to transmit this result electronically, should have included that in the Act and specify clearly that it should be done this way. And not to invest or empower INEC to do what they want. They can go to court of law and claim force merger. And force merger is real in contracts. When you claim force merger, it's out of your control. You can't do anything. But because it's in your in your power to so determine how a thing can go, you decided to use an alternative option. And since the law does not, you know, forbid you from using alternative option, the law cannot hold you liable. It is. It is what it is. So. When you craft law, you know, the law should be explicit. You know, when we write contract, part of the work I do as well, uh, okay, I shouldn't have said that, but you know, when you write the contract or when you develop law, these are the things you have to look at. You have to make sure that the clauses are right and you know, put proper conditions that will not allow for 
that will not allow room for manipulation. So this is what's going to happen. But I think the other case of providing evidence to show that this election result is not as it is, is a case that the Labour Party can really pursue, to be honest. The IREF, you know, the, uh, the you know, result viewing portal, it's actually, you know, very disappointing to know that according to INEC, they actually spent about 171 billion naira to procure that portal, including the beavers. Because that portal is nothing but like, you know, Google hard drive or Google drive. It's just more or less where you just take a picture and store something. It's not an election transmission or transmitting portal because it does not tabulate the data. It does not collate the data and, and put it together and give it the figure automatically. No, it just, you just take a picture and that is it. I mean, I mean, for me, I felt whoever that developed that, that was a total, you know, insult to our intellectual capacity as Nigerians. Look at Nigerians all around the world. We are building one of the best tech companies around the world and someone can build that and call it an election transmission viewing portal. So right now, if you have to know if you actually won the election or not, you have to download every single thing on that portal and start tabulating it manually. Who does that so when the next chairman will keep saying transmission of results what we expected that even that portal itself even though it has failed but assuming that it has worked it should actually have automatically collect all the data collate all the data and give us the result automatically without INEC having to do manual process so the pictures could have been taken but at the same time the data of whatever that was called should have been entered on the system and even if you don't want to enter it manually, I mean, with AI technologies today, I mean, if that, whatever they have written on that sheet of paper, when you put your scanner on it, you should be able to extract that number and automatically, you know, input it where it belongs. I mean, technology can do that. So it's really disappointing to see that someone, an agency can spend uh, over 170 billion naira to develop something that is as shambles as this. So for me, the system was already set up for failure from the very beginning. I mean, this, that could, I mean, they could have as well just, you know, use Google Drive and that's it. <laughs> I mean, all of us can access Google Drive because that was what it was. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, it still did not work. And up to now, five days after the election, five days after the winner have been declared, the, the, in the portal, you see, cannot find all the results sheet being uploaded. So I think, any party that want to go to court, especially the Labour Party, is to make sure that they, all the injured send in everything they've collected and then they can tablet it and be able to know if they won. And not rely on the what is being uploaded on the portal. Because if it was not uploaded in real time, whatever that is uploaded after that, I mean, you cannot trust that. That's the truth. And even to, you know, add salt to injury, the worst part is that even the portal itself the way it was developed, there are no authentication systems, there are nothing. I mean, people taking selfies of themselves and uploading on the portal. It's very, very embarrassing. On a national portal, people are taking selfie and uploading. Results from Nasarawa State have been found in Lagos. I mean, come on, who does that? I mean, even, it's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Right, so, after the election have been declared, so what is the mood right now in the, in the country? Well, from here in Abuja, I think yesterday there was some kind of a protest, uh, but I think it was just dispersed. Uh, nothing serious, but the mood has been kind of sober. People are just quiet and calm. You know that silent rage, silent anger, disappointment, or dismay? That I see in the faces of and in the mood of a lot of people, especially as, except those, of course, who are supporting the winning party. But generally, citizens, I mean, people are just calm quiet the city is just so calm it doesn't even look like an election was won or we are looking forward to something new and i can understand that because apc have ruled in the last eight years and the last eight years hasn't been a good experience for us and again considering apc coming again for the next four years we don't know it's crazy so a lot of disappointment to be honest a lot of disappointment and for many people like me 
who have been on the age of voting but have never cared to vote is because we never trusted the system. We know at the end of the day, politicians will find a way to wreak. And that was why we never voted. But we really voted this time because we trusted the word of the INEC chairman who said electronic results will be transmitted from the polling unit in real time. That is the word, in real time. So if it was done in real time, there was not going to be a way that somebody would have manipulated it. But on that day, no result was transmitted. No result was uploaded. And upload now came two days, three days later. So invariably what are we working with? So that means something have transpired somewhere even before it got to you. So the mood here is kind of people are just disappointed. A lot of people I know I've spoken to have vowed to never vote again in this country. And probably many people might have to probably start considering leaving the country, except you know, if the new government comes in and really, really does well. Because at the end of the day, we need a country that works and that works for everyone and not just for some set of people. If it's going to work for some set of people, then there is no need and there is no reason to be part of that country. Because if you're going to be part of a country, then it should work for all of us. That's what we are saying. Anyway, you know this channel is not about elections. It's not about... <laughs> we just have to talk about these things, but... Uh, Hopefully, after the next video that will come up, we'll go back to our normal content on this channel, which is adventure and documentary. And truly, we'll have lots and lots of interesting videos that are coming. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the very next one. Bye.